everyone, it's Rachel and today I'll be showing you how to make these needle felted Super Mario Power Up Mushrooms. So for this tutorial you'll be needing a foam felting mat and if you don't have one you can also use a sponge. You'll need a felting needle and finally some felting wool in all the colours you want to use. I received my felting wool from an online store called Crafty Felt where you can purchase a range of felting kits, colour sets or single colours of felting wool. I'll be leaving all of their information and links down in the description box as well as a discount code which will give you 20% off an order. So now let's get into the tutorial. I'm firstly starting off with the top of the mushrooms. You'll need to take the colour, roll it into a ball and then start to poke it which will compact the wool leaving you with a nice sturdy piece. Just be patient and continue to poke the wool and keep going until you create a semi-sphere shape that you're happy with. And now do exactly the same for each of the other colours. I also did mine according to the size of the power up mushrooms in the game. So I made the red and the green the same size, the blue slightly smaller and then the yellow slightly bigger than the others. Once they're all finished it's time to move on to the spots. I'm taking a small strip of white wool. I then rolled it into a ball and poked it with my needle to create a flat circle. Now all you have to do is position it onto the mushroom and secure it on by poking. Continue this step until you add 4 spots on each of the mushrooms and don't forget that the larger yellow one has red spots instead of white. I'm now moving on to the base of the mushroom, so I split my cream coloured wool into four sections according to the size I needed to use. I took one and just rolled it into a tight ball before poking and shaping it into a flat cylinder, kind of like a tree stump shape. We then need it to be thinner on one side, so all you have to do is poke it on one side more than the other to create the perfect shape. Next for the eyes, I'm taking the black wool and twisting it so it's nice and thin. I'm then holding it into place on the base of the mushroom we just made and poking the middle to help secure it. Then just trim off each end with a pair of scissors and poke the ends to secure them down as well. For the other eye, I repeated those same steps. To connect the base to the top of the mushroom, position it where you want and then poke around the top edge where the two pieces meet to join them together. And then that's everything. You now have your own little needle felted power up mushroom plushies. If you enjoyed this tutorial or found it helpful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more and check out all the info and links down in the description box and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!